this video is for educational purposes only and only those competent in electrical wiring and electrical safety procedures should attempt this wiring. Make sure the electricity is off prior to starting. Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. And today I'd like to show you how to do wiring from a plan. The plan can be drafted by an architect, by a draftsman, and it can be also drafted by the homeowner. You just take this down to the city and hopefully you get it approved. They may want a couple changes or whatever, and then you change it, and then they'll approve it. Uh, this is a very simplified drawing, uh, just to kind of get you started with being able to work from a drawing. So right here, we have an exterior main panel. This is a room, just a typical room with two doors. This is a double door, and this is a single door. So this is your exterior main panel, and we have a cable going over here. You see, that we call this the hot cable because it comes straight from the main panel. So it's gonna be hot all the time unless the circuit breaker's off. And it's called out as 12-2 with ground. So it's called out to run that 12-2 with ground right over here to this switch box. And in this switch box, we have this big ass little three. That means three-way switch. And then right here, we got a circle with two lines uh, going into the wall there. That's a duplex receptacle. So this is a two-gang box right here. And it's called out as the three-way switch being on the left as you're looking at it and the duplex receptacle being on the right. Then from there, we're going to go over here with a 12-3 with ground. So this is going to have a red wire in it as well. And it goes over here to another big ass little three. That's a three way switch. So we got three way switch here, three way switch here. No receptacle in this one. You see this area here probably has a workstation and the architect wanted a receptacle to service this little workstation here. So this is a three way switch. And then with a 12 2 with ground, we run over to the light, which is in the middle of the room. So this is a drawing here, and you got to pay attention to notes. It says notes, electrical boxes to be 4x4 four four metal with 3 quarter inch mud rings. Receptacles to be grounds up. So this receptacle right here has to go with the ground up, and we have to go with 4x4 four four metal boxes and 3 quarter inch mud rings. If it's called out, you need to do it. When you get an inspection, the inspector is going to be looking at these notes and the plans too. And you got to do it just exactly to the plans. Or you go back to the city and get a change and get it stamped again. But you need to stick to the plans. Here's my demonstration board that are for the plans that I just showed you. Of course, the cables on the actual plan are much longer. These cables are much shorter. But the wiring is going to be exactly the same. And notice we're starting with the 4x4 metal boxes as called out in the plans. Here we have the hot cable that brings the current into this whole system. And this is the one that comes from the main panel. It says hot right here and it's a 12-2 with ground. And 2 referring to two conductors. You get the black hot wire and the white neutral wire and then it has a bare ground wire. So that's our first cable. This green wire right here is called an EGC. That's Equipment Grounding Conductor and the box is considered some equipment. So it needs to be bonded to the grounding system of the house. And so each of these boxes has an EGC. So this is one cable and that's the EGC. And this right here is a 12-3 with ground. That's the one that goes between the two boxes, and it's a quite long run, but in my representation here, it's only about six inches. And I have it marked as TVL for Traveler. I have it marked over here as TVL for Traveler as well. It is a 12-3 with ground, meaning there's three conductors. We have a red and black hot wires, a white neutral wire, and a bare ground wire. So this goes all the way over to this switch box. And over here, we also have a load cable. So this is a 12-2 with ground once again. We have the white neutral and the black hot and the bare copper. So that is the cabling. And this is as it's represented 
in the plans. The first box will have a three-way switch on the left and a duplex receptacle on the right with the grounds up. As called out in the plans, each of the boxes are to have a three-quarter inch mud ring. The one on the left is a two-gang mud ring and the one on the right is a one-gang mud ring. The first thing I'll do is get the grounds together. We have three grounds at the box right now, including the EGC, and we'll be adding two pigtails, one for each of the devices. This is a five conductor Wago lever nut. I'll put all three of the ground wires and the two grounding pigtails into the Wago lever nut. You just insert the ground wires in all the way and clamp down the lever. Here are the two grounding pigtails that I've prepared and I'm going to insert those into the Wago lever nut as well. Now I'll push the ground wires back into the back of the box. I'll put one of the ground wires lower in the box for the switch and I'll put one higher in the box on the right hand side for the receptacle. Our switch does not need a neutral but the receptacle does so we need one neutral pigtail. Now I will use a three conductor Wago lever nut and I will insert the two neutrals that are currently in the box and then I'll add one neutral pigtail to it. Now I'll push the neutral wires back into the back of the box. First I push them to the left side and then to the right side because the right side is where I need that wire. Now watch this little tool. See that little tool right there? That's invented by my friend Warren Tarbell. It's called a volt claw. See I put the neutral on the right side so it'll be ready for the receptacle. Now for the hot wires. This is the hot wire that brings the AC current into this system. And we're going to need a hot pigtail going to this receptacle. It'll go to the bronze colored terminal and we're going to need a hot pigtail going to this black terminal of the three-way switch, which is called the common terminal. So we're going to need two pigtails. I'm going to take this three conductor Wago lever nut, put it all the way in there, and I've prepared two pigtails right here. And put one in here, one in here, all the way in. So let's push this into the back of the box, like that. And then like this, add it all back there. And then we need one hot wire coming out right in the middle and one over here on this side. And then these are the traveler wires. They're going to go here and here. Connect the green grounding wire to the green grounding terminal of the three-way switch. This three-way switch does not take a neutral. I'll connect one of our black hot pigtails to the black common terminal of the three-way switch. Then I'll tighten it securely. Here's the red traveler wire and here's the black traveler wire. I like to put the red traveler wire on the top. You see there's a, it says top right up here. I like to put the red on the top just, just as a organized system. And so here's the black traveler wire. It goes right there, and I'm going to tighten that down securely. So you see how I have these wires set up here. We've got the ground, the hot, and the neutral. And here we have the ground, the hot, and the neutral. See, it's all ready to go. I'll connect the green ground wire to the green grounding terminal. And next I'm going to take the white neutral wire and put it to either one of the silver terminals. They're connected together right here, so it doesn't really matter which one. The black hot wire goes right there to the bronze colored terminal and we'll tighten that down securely. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that for a moment because I'm going to uh, go over all the wiring once we have it done. The first thing we're going to do with this box is get the grounds together. We have the ground that goes to the light. We have the ground that's coming over from the traveler cable. And 
we have the EDC, and then we're going to have a pigtail that will go to our device. So I have a five conductor Wago lever nut as one, two, three, four. Okay, and so I'm going to push this in here. And we have the ground ready for our device. We're going to do the neutrals. This switch does not need a neutral. So I'm going to take a three conductor Wago lever nut, put that in there, put that in there. And I don't need the third one, but I'm going to have it there in case we want to change to a digital three-way switch system like uh, a dimmer with Alexa or, or something like that, a timer switch, something that does need a neutral, we'll be ready to go. That's why I used a three conductor Wago lever nut. So here's our device right here. This is the three-way switch. So I'm going to go ahead and put the ground on in a clockwise manner. I'm going to crimp the wire and tighten it down securely. Now here's the load wire. That goes to the black common terminal. So we're going to go ahead and hook this load wire to the black common terminal and I'm going to tighten it down securely. So here's the top right here and this is your these are your traveler wires. We have the red which I like to keep on the top. Tighten it down securely and here's the black traveler wire which I like to have on the bottom and I tighten that down mm, securely. Okay, so let's go over all this wiring. We have the hot cable coming in and back here in the back we have a Wago lever nut and we have two pigtails, one that goes to the receptacle to the brass colored terminal right here and one hot wire that goes right here to the black common terminal. So that's that's our hot. Uh, the grounds just get distributed, one, one for each of the devices. And for the traveler wires, I have the red wire going to the top and the black going to the bottom. The neutral gets distributed right here. It goes to the silver terminal of the receptacle. The three-way switch doesn't need a neutral. So that's our wiring here. Then over here, we have the red and the black traveler wires going to the bronze colored traveler terminals. And we have the black from the load wire going right here to the black common terminal. And the ground uh, goes here and the neutrals go to the back of the box. Now I'm going to put black electrician's tape around all the terminals of all three of the devices for safety. Okay, so now that I have all these uh, devices wrapped with the black electrician's tape, I'm going to put on the mud rings. So we just slip it right over like this. With the mud ring on, I'll now install the devices. And the same for the second three-way switch. Okay, I have the backing plates for the screwless wall plates on the devices. And now, I'm going to put on the screwless wall plate part. You just click them on right like that. And over here, just click that right on. And now I'm going to turn on the circuit breaker. Okay, the circuit breaker's on now. So let's try out the three-way switch system. I'll turn this one on and that one off. That one on and that one off. Okay, the three-way switch system is working great. And now let's test our receptacle. We'll put our outlet tester in here. The two green lights indicate correct wiring. And we'll try the upper one as well. And that's correct wiring. So that's how you install a three-way switch system with a receptacle. And you installed it to plans. The plans call for the receptacle to be on the right and the switch on the left on this one and they wanted the grounds up so we put the grounds up and we used all the wiring that they called out and so forth so there you go three-way switch system with receptacle by the plans 
I'll put links in my video description for the Wago lever nuts in the two, three, and five connector sizes. For the Weha Xeno Drive number two screwdriver, I'll put links for the 2020 NEC spiral bound code book and the 2020 NEC hard copy handbook. And I'll put links for the Leviton Decora Plus three-way switches. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.